See, 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 the number one mistake that the boy Trey Burke then did was call me out on Twitter. He decided to let everyone know that I'm not going to be the rookie of the year, that I'm not that guy, that he's going to be the rookie of the year. So I decided to take me and the Pelicans to Utah and show them who was boss. Now, in this game, I had about 16 steals, 40 points. I didn't get a triple double, you know, still working on the assist game, but I do get some nice assists, nice little flashy passes. But one thing that's missing from NBA 2K14, another vital piece, is the stat line after the player of the game replay. Now, I'm cool with that, you know, it's all right. But one big problem that I had this game is that I didn't have any screenshots of our box score or of my performance. So you guys are just going to have to look at these stats. And uh, yeah, Hall of Fame is real. They still were close to us with 27 turnovers. But uh... I want to show you guys a vital clip. I did put a bid in for one of my teammates, and you guys are about to watch it right here. Check it out. Hey, uh, I just wanted to talk to you about our minutes distribution. Not so much for me, but I think we've got one of our most talented players sitting on the bench way too much. Now, what I was trying to do here was basically get somebody a starting position over another, and there's one guy in particular that I would love to play with, and his name is Drew Holiday. He's an 88 overall, and he's coming off the bench. That's not realistic. Yeah, say no more. He's been terrific for us off the bench, and you could certainly argue that he's deserving of more minutes. Oh, of course. He's definitely deserving. Yeah, you know, he, he gives us a big lift every time he comes in. I just don't think we're losing anything by putting him out there. You feel me? Yep, I feel the same way. Well, and it's a way to deepen our rotation and spread the minutes around. It makes a lot of sense. I'll see what I can do. First of all, that is Young is not gonna be ducking on my head like that little pregame intro. But yeah, now that I got you guys' attention, I want to talk to you guys about a few things. But first, I want to let y'all know about this gameplay I'm bringing to y'all. This is a game versus Philly. We are in New Orleans. I am going up against Michael Carter Williams, but he's really not a big factor this game. Jason Richardson, Evan Turner, and that is Young really turned up. And I'm gonna tell you this right now. When you guys look at the ending stats of this game, you're going to be like, what the heck? How the heck? Why the heck? But, you know, it is what it is. But uh, the first thing that I want to speak to you guys about is trades. Now, I want to get traded from the New Orleans Pelicans. I played with New Orleans with my small forward for, what, about 30 episodes in NBA 2K13. And, you know, even though they have somewhat of a different team, I feel like I'm taking the spot of Drew Holiday. I can't get him into the starting lineup because you guys saw in the first few clips, I tried to put my bid in with the GM. I tried to let them know, hey, man, we got a guy on the bench that's an 88 overall. We got to do something about that. But I'm not totally sure that the GM will listen. I'm not sure that the coach will listen. So I'm thinking about going to a different team. Now, of course, my first choice will always be the Philadelphia 76ers. Now... Hopefully, you guys won't have a problem with me taking Michael Carter-Williams' spot at all, right? Because I'm out here getting blocks on this dude. This dude about, what, 6'5"? You know what I'm saying? I'm out here getting blocks. But I'm just hoping that, you know, I can get traded to the Sixers. Now, as it goes for my second and third choice, because we all know you have to choose three teams that you would like to go to, I'm not totally sure about. So, I need your guys' help. I need y'all in the comment section going completely crazy leaving all types of feedback so hey i need you guys to say either stay with new orleans or get traded to the sixers b i need you guys to pick two teams for me to get traded to either it be your favorite team or a team that has no good point guard that needs a rebuilding um season that may try to get to the playoffs and hopefully win the title because, of course, that's the only thing on my agenda is winning that title. Now, C, this is the last thing that I want you guys to do. I want you guys to straight up tell me if this series is going well, if you guys have been entertained with what I've been doing lately. Now, 
We all know that NBA 2K14 seems a little broken. There seems like there are a lot of things missing in this game. I have tried to point out as much as I could within the first few days. And the more and more I play the game, the more and more I feel like there are way too many things missing that next gen is going to need to make up for. So if you point out anything out of all the games you have played that are missing from NBA 2K14, list them inside the description because... I'm actually trying to make a video solely on everything that's missing in 2K14 so I can try to forward it to the devs. So, um, the C option is probably going to be the longest uh, few things that you guys are going to have to write, but I'm hoping that you guys do because when I make this video, I want to definitely, you know, have up screenshots of what people actually said, the problems, the good, the bad, the ugly. Oh, man. But, you know, gameplay wise, I noticed that. Mid-range jump shots don't go in as much, but three-point shots do still go in with a high um, success rate. So, you know, I'm not totally sure how those things go and how they coincide, but the way the jump shots is this year is kind of crazy. Now, I haven't seen a patch for NBA 2K14 yet, but um, I noticed when I did turn my system on today that they had a little update for Virgin Gaming. Now, I was thinking in my head, okay, you guys have something for competitive gaming, but what's going on with the patches for 2K14? Not totally sure about that, but you know, hey, hopefully, you know, I'm just praying for the best, you know, I, I don't know. <laughs> but jumping into the gameplay, this game, all, I guess like the first two quarters, it was okay. But I think I got subbed out, and when I came back in the second quarter, we were down eight. And then it ended up becoming double digits. Now, ever since then, for two straight quarters, I've been fighting back, trying to come back from this double-digit deficit. Now, of course you guys know how I play. I play very aggressive. I try to get up and down the floor, get a lot of steals, and I try to involve my teammates. But it's pretty hard, man. You know, Eric Gordon was having a bad first three quarters. Like, I don't know what I was doing, but every time I would pass him the ball, things weren't going good. No, of course things were going great for me. You know, I turned up at any instant. Because <laughs> you guys just saw me dunk on Michael Carter Williams right there. Now, Drew Holiday, like I said, I want to get him involved in the game. I really, really do. Because I feel like since he can run the offense, I can run the offense, we would complement each other. It would be a great one-two punch. When he passes me the ball, I make shots. When I pass him the ball, he makes shots as well. But one thing I will tell you guys about the fourth quarter. Now, I guess I can't depend on Eric Gordon for the first three quarters. But what I can do is depend on him for the fourth quarter. Now, I'm not sure if he still has the closer signature skill. But, yo, Eric Gordon turned all the way up in the fourth quarter. It was like his rating went from 83 to a 99 in one quarter. So, for 12 minutes straight, it was like he had the Gatorade Prime Pack. He had the closing signature skill. <laughs> he had posterizer. He had dead eye. He had catch and shoot. Like, it was crazy. Look at this guy. He going in getting contact layups. Not worrying about the no call telling the ref, baby, we need that next time. But, yo, I'm going to just let y'all know now. I was the setup guy, and he was the guy finishing the job. Now, I don't. I wish that I could get this type of game out of Eric Gordon for four quarters straight, or I wouldn't really have that much of a problem with him. If he played like this all four quarters, it would be golden. But, back to the topic at hand. I'm hoping that you guys leave your comments in the comment section on if I should go to New Orleans, I mean stay in New Orleans, go to Philadelphia, or if I should get traded to another team. Also, list inside the description all, I mean, not description, but comment section. All the problems that you guys have seen from NBA 2K14. So I can make one big bulk video and ship it over to the devs. But uh, we just put the nail in the coffin. Well, I guess you can call it the nail in the coffin. But we're about to bury him right here. Because, of course, I'm about to get the cookies. Eric Gordon off to the races. Passes it to me. And I rise on him. But uh, you know how the game go. We came out. We got the win. It was a great game. But let's get into the player of the game, y'all.
just been announced that you have been named the Conference Player of the Week for the past week. This is the first time you've received this award. Can we expect more of this from you in the future? Oh, of course. It's only November. I think I should get it every week. <laughs> Man, I certainly hope so. Feels incredible to be singled out from all the great players in the conference. I'd like to give my thanks to the coaching staff here, my great teammates, and of course all the fans that come out every night and cheer us on through thick and thin, man. Thanks everyone. It was great. Alright you guys, I want to thank you for watching this video. Make sure you leave this bad boy a like. You already know, but um, this is IKC signing out. I will see you guys in the next video. Yeah, don't be asking me. Just sign up for that text message when I can upload a new video. But peace, y'all. I'm out. This is Siri. Thank you for watching and be sure to like this video. For more videos from this particular mode, click more videos. If you want to see more content from IKC, click subscribe. Oh, and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page. This is Siri signing out. Peace.